Howdy folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to prevent Chrome from storing uh, search suggestions uh, in the browser. This is something that uh, surprisingly, unlike other browsers out there, uh, you can't turn off in the settings. So no matter what you do, uh, Google Chrome is just going to keep on saving your searches and showing them to you and, uh, you know, um, privacy concern others when they're doing searches. So the kind of thing I'm talking about is when you're in the address bar and you start typing in you know certain letter or series of letters and you can find that recent searches that you may find embarrassing or you just don't want to look at again come up right and you want to prevent this behavior so uh, so in that address bar type in chrome and then a colon and then the word history okay and this is going to bring you to uh, the page that shows all your history of course so uh, what you want to do there is click on the left where it says clear browsing data all right make sure that this says obliterate the following items from the beginning of time you want to choose the beginning of time if you want to clear everything right um, you can use these same settings that I have here in terms of uh, check boxes just uh, leave passwords unchecked and media licenses unchecked if you want uh, those things to be saved all right and then of course you can go ahead and clear the browsing data and if we go back in there you know chrome colon spell it right now there's no history entries found okay now we want to keep it that way so the next thing that you're going to do depending on your operating system is you're going to go to one of these two paths so in a windows machine it's C users and then your username right and then app data local Google Chrome user data default now I will leave these <coughs> paths in the description of this YouTube video so uh, you can reference them there because I know that's a long and ugly path just uh, keep in mind Windows users that the username here that that part of the, fo the uh, folder structure is the original username if you've changed, so if you had your, the, originally the username was Bob and you've changed it to Kim, the folder is going to say Bob even though it says Kim when you log in. Okay, so just keep that in mind because it can be a point of confusion. On a Mac, uh, possibly simpler because there's no username in there, uh, you're going to go to the tilde library application support Google Chrome default folder. All right, so this is a Windows machine, so I'm going to show you. Um, what you're after in that folder so here we are in that folder and you may need to go if this is Windows 10 here so you, this is the file explorer in Windows 10 and you're want to gonna want to go to the view tab at the top and make sure that you have hidden items checked so that you can actually see uh, these folders because when you are for example at this level here um, Oh, even one up further. The um, anyway, when you're at the point where you, when you're in the users folder and you go into owner, then you won't see this app data unless hidden items is checked, right? So just make sure that you do that. And once you're here in this uh, ultimate folder, you're looking for this file here, which is history without any extension so you also want file name extensions checked off as a general rule just so that you can see like this one has a dot ico extension but you wouldn't see that if that box there wasn't checked uh, there seems to be only one file with the name just history so we're pretty much okay here you're going to right click on that file the history file okay and you're going to go into properties all right, and you're going to make it read only. All right, and then of course click OK. So now, because it's read only, Google Chrome will not be able to modify the file and save your history, uh, and your privacy is far more assured. Right. So that's the exact step on Windows for the Mac. You're going to click on the history file, and you're going to press Command I and a little box will pop up, 
okay, which is your Get Info box. And under the General tab, there's a checkbox where you can check off Locked. And lock that file. And the same way as on Windows, where it's read-only, on a Mac, where it says Locked, Google Chrome will not be able to modify the file and continue to save your history. And that will clear up uh, your Google privacy concerns as far as Google Chrome is concerned and it's uh, popping your history up all the time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.